Here is how to simulate systems with discrete elements using Open Modelica. We've spoken about simulating systems like this before using Open Modelica for continuous systems and just like before most of the blocks that we'll need are found in the Modelica blocks section of Open Modelica. Um, all of these brown blocks are discrete blocks and they are found uh, under the discrete section of um, this uh, notebook. Now, an important thing to understand about the z-domain transfer functions that Modelica is using is that it is using uh, positive powers of z in the polynomials. Now, this particular diagram that I'm going to simulate is a reproduction of figure 17.9 uh, in Seaborg, and I have simply used um, and I have simply used SynPy to uh, simplify with the cancel command to take the transfer functions as they were written to and write them in positive powers of z. This saves you uh, all the kinds of mistakes that you may uh, be prone to make when you do the conversion yourself. You'll notice that all the coefficients are exactly the same. The only thing that is different is the uh, particular powers that we're talking about. Um, most importantly, notice that this uh, 0.632 value over here is now multiplied by z, which means that there's a 0. Um, so this is 0.632z plus 0. And so if we uh, look at what that looks like uh, in the parameters of that block, it's 0 to uh, 0 0.6320. This is an important point. The same thing happens... Uh, in this transfer function over there, you'll see that trading zero over there, which corresponds with the fact that we have z uh, squared and z, but there's no z, uh, there's no constant term in the denominator of this transfer function, and therefore we have to add that zero in there. The rest is very standard if you already know how to do open modalica simulations. I've got the transfer function, which is just typed in normally, um, normal feedback loop, normal step, um, it is useful to specify the sample time in uh, these discrete blocks. I've, I've specified, I've gone through and specified the same sample time in each element. So if you go through, there's a sample time of 1. If you go through, there's a sample time of 1. And that goes through all the way. Uh, also be careful, uh, again, of the default simulation settings uh, in Open Modelica, which uh, by default will start at um, for a, a very uh, short uh, simulation time it only has a one simulation time um, remember that you want to go to uh, a simulation time that makes more sense for the simulation that you're working with once you are satisfied with those simulation settings you can go ahead and run the simulation and uh, you take note of what the final thing is that you're trying to find here we have transfer function 3 which is the final output and uh, plotting that final output shows, uh, as it happens, the response of a Dolan controller, which is the subject of a next exercise.